Wow, this road is so awful. Hmm. We are on our way to Makuba for the mission school graduation. And uh, God has really protected us. It's been quite a dangerous journey and a good journey though. And praise the Lord for the new car um, and for safe travel so far. Please be praying for the students as other students are coming from Cabo Delgado and will receive blankets and will receive uh, clothing and some food and stuff to take back for the refugees. And uh, then, of course, the graduation ceremony coming up. At first light this morning, we flew over Shockwave and what we found was a town that was drowning. Its inhabitants, thousands of them, had taken to the rooftops with whatever they could salvage. As the floodwaters rise around them, they plead to be rescued. These people marooned on the last rapidly disappearing patch of dry land. And here, mothers begging us to save their children. So many people are stranded here, the crews can barely cope. One man refused to let go, even as the helicopter lifted off. Eventually, he was hauled in. With each rescue, there are always people left behind. Those who make it are flown to the nearest dry land, joining others who manage to escape on foot. Late this afternoon, thousands remain to be rescued in Chokwe alone. South Africa's rescue crews are doing the best they can, but five helicopters are simply not enough to do the job. This is a crisis that has suddenly worsened, and this evening Mozambique, one of the poorest countries in the world, needs help. Thank you. Much love to all our church family.